Well, my name is Monica Herrera, one of the admissions counselors at Johns Hopkins University. Today, we'll be talking about how our students take academics beyond the classroom through research and internships. In 1876, Johns Hopkins University was founded as the nation's first research institution. Today, we continue to lead the nation in research funding, spending $2.6 billion annually. Discovery and exploration are key components to our academic philosophy in which we were founded upon that allows and encourages our students to ask questions about the world, past, present, or future, and then take it to the next step of trying to find some answers. Our students have asked questions such as how did Mesopotamia view the natural world? Is there gender bias in venture capitalism? And how can we create a computational model of the brain to better understand the seizure onset zone? While these questions will span far and wide across different academic areas and oftentimes intertwine with each other, our students have the support of the university to help them find answers. They can use resources such as the Hopkins Office of Undergraduate Research and their professors to navigate the process of joining labs and teams on our campus or the other Hopkins campuses or apply to research funding opportunities set aside specifically for our undergraduate students such as the Provost Undergraduate Research Award the STAR Award, or the Woodrow Wilson Fellowship Grant. Our students have access to these opportunities to expand their knowledge beyond the classroom, regardless of class year or academic program. So let's talk about some things that our students have done before. We had one student in the International Studies Department who was studying abroad in France when he found himself wondering, how does the United States compare to France and the ways that they make commentary around current events through political cartoons over the course of history? He asked this question out loud one day during a meeting with his faculty advisor in the International Studies Department, who encouraged him to apply for research funding. He was awarded funding through his department to continue his studies in France, talk to the experts, and comb through the archives to create a comprehensive comparative analysis between the two nations. Students will take hold of opportunities to explore their own questions, but to also partner with faculty members and departments to work on their projects such as the Institute of Nanobiotechnology and our Chemical Biomolecular Engineering Department that allows students to create new drug delivery systems to help get pharmaceuticals across the blood-brain barrier. We hope you learned a little bit more about us today. If you want to learn more about Hopkins, we encourage you to visit one of our information sessions, follow us on social media, and ask your questions to us by reaching out to your original admissions counselor or one of our students through askastudent at jhu.edu. Thank you for your time today.